What if you play Emily without burning? Emily is obviously designed so people try out the burning reaction more often. We've seen so many of the other reactions, we've seen Hyper Bloom, we've seen uh, all the other aggravates, whatever dendro reaction you may uh, even bloom, right? Whatever reaction from dendro that we have created in the past, they wanted you to try out this one because, well, it's just not given enough love. Because of that, people are only thinking of Emily within burning teams with obviously pyro characters. And that makes the most sense. Emily is a burning character. Her kit allows her to get more, you know, attack because of burning, allows her to protect her teammates because of burning, and it's just generally all-rounded to be a burning character. Well, can Emily be used without burning? I said burning like 20 times during this video, but it's still gonna be a little bit more, don't worry. If so, why and how? Well, firstly, we need to recall what we would be ignoring within her kit first. Since we are not going to use the B word, we lose out on attack buff from Emily, as well as we can no longer use unfinished reverie set, which is her, you know, best install artifact, and we don't get the pyro resistance buff. So let's recall that one more time. We're not going to get the attack. So once Emily deals burning damage, or helps deal burning damage, she gains an attack buff, and it's a significant one too. Not to mention, she also gives us protection against the burning reaction in case we do get burned ourselves. And we also lose out on the unfinished reverie set, which gives us a bunch of damage bonus. Now, we can no longer access this if we're not going to do or deal burning damage, right? So. What do we do instead? All right, I think that is all we are ignoring from her kit, but what are we gonna do instead? Well, now we can use some possible support kits if we really wanted to, like Tenacity of Mirlith or Noblesse. I think the one we should really be looking at is the Golden Troop set. Golden Troop, Golden Troop, one of which. This way we can get Emily's damage to increase without having the unfinished reverie set thanks to the lumidose case that stays on field right now the one thing i'm not sure of because of this set is that this set specifically says elemental skill damage now if we recall correctly once emily uses the burst and the burst is ended she summons a another lumidose case i'm not sure if the golden troop set would count as well towards this Lumidos case because well it came from the elemental burst i'm sure maybe it does count but if it doesn't this sort of really sucks and we might just be stuck with the different artifact sets here if it doesn't and it does work then we can also focus some more on this so if we are doing the golden troop we don't really have to change much when it comes to, you know, building her kit because it mostly would stay the same, like her weapons and stuff mostly stays the same. The talents would also stay the same. Elemental skill, elemental burst, you know how it is. Her teams is the only thing that we now have opened new doors to. So now we can diversify in which you might use her in the team with Hyper Bloom, which is a very, very popular choice because Hyper Bloom is just really strong. Actually, I want to say the word overpowered. It's so good. Um, yeah, Hyper Bloom is really good. Or we could use Aggravate your spread teams. Those are pretty fun. I usually like using Clorin for those, even though she's more of an overload character for me personally. But uh, yeah, it's just really easy to use, you know, Aggravate spread because there's so many Electro Driver characters. Or we could have just straight up Bloom in this manner. Um, we can use Nilu which would help you do with those blooms and deal loads of damage with those as well. But I think it would sort of be similar in which you would have any other dendro sort of sub DPS slash support, just a dendro applicator, something maybe similar to Baiju where he does a little bit of dendro on the side, um, but it won't do that great of damage because we're ignoring her kit or like her potential damage, I should say. It should still do some pretty good damage either way. And it's just the dendro application. It's going to be normal. It's going to be the same thing. Nothing changed. 
but the only thing that we you know are changing is you know how we put her into a kit or into a team and that we're not going to be making most over kit overall so um yeah we just open new doors to some different teams is with what i'm pretty much saying which is pretty much fun that's we, we could do that even though <laughs> we could still be using the unfinished reverie set with burning and then have a field day with that i don't know why we wouldn't be doing that but the whole premise of the video is can you use emily without burning and that answer is an astounding yes you can you definitely can you don't have to use the emily buff you don't have to use the pyro resistance buff you don't have to use any of that you can use her straight up as a dendro applicator and just a sub dps overall and she's going to work pretty well anyways it's as simple as that you don't have to do whatever you know you can do whatever you want it's at the end of the day your account you can do whatever you want with it build whatever team you want the game is not hard <laughs> the game is not hard build a character you want however you want and it will be a good time anyway that's going to be it let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you a fan of dendro just straight up hyper blue memory or something like that or straight up burning use her as she's supposed to don't look outside the box too much just straight up linear you know what i'm saying anyways that's gonna be it and you let me know in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one very soon Bye.